you got like three minutes, though. Testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, one, two. Mic check again. Testing, testing, one, two. Waiting for a thumbs up. Testing, one, two.
operate on your phone. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for this briefing on Tropical Storm Nicole and our city's preparedness efforts. Joining me today are emergency management officials and key stakeholders from departments throughout Duval County, including the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Jacksonville Fire and Rescue, Emergency Preparedness Division, and Public Works. We've been preparing behind the scenes along with our three beaches mayors and the mayor of Baldwin to bring you the latest updates and help ensure that you are prepared. At last report, Nicole was located several hundred miles off the coast of Florida and is expected to make landfall south of Duval County sometime very late Wednesday into early Thursday morning as a Category 1 hurricane. Currently, the biggest threat to our area is intense storm surge and flooding along the coast and along the St. Johns River. This will be driven by strong winds to the north of the storm that will push water west into the river. This combined with bands of rain throughout the storm makes flooding in low-lying areas the biggest threat to our neighborhoods. In addition, we could see waves at the beach as high as 10 to 15 feet. Inland, we may see storm surge 3 to 5 feet above ground level. These conditions are expected even without a direct hit from Nicole. This is the latest information we have from the National Weather Service. When will we begin feeling impacts? For the Jacksonville area, this will likely begin Wednesday night into early Thursday and Friday. As we know, scenarios can change, but it's important to always be prepared. If you have yard debris, make sure that is cleared and not blocking storm drains. And now is time to walk around your property and secure loose items. Yesterday, Public Works activated their inclement weather plan and crews have been out making additional preparations. Here at Emergency Operations Center and throughout Jacksonville, our teams are continuing to closely track Nicole. Duval County is currently under a tropical storm and storm surge warning along the East Coast, intercoastal waterways, and St. John's River. At the beaches, there are red flag, high hazard conditions, and people should stay out of the water. Yesterday afternoon, Governor DeSantis declared a state of emergency for Duval and surrounding counties. This differs from a local state of emergency, but as I said, we are closely watching this storm to determine if that will be declared. That decision will likely come within the next 24 hours. In the meantime, I have instructed key eight city agencies and departments to be prepared in case the situation changes, and we are in frequent contact with all government and private stakeholders with the most up-to-date information. Unfortunately, out of the, an abundance of caution, we must cancel the Veterans Day Parade scheduled for Friday morning, along with the breakfast planned immediately before the parade. 
I know these events are what people look forward to every year, but we cannot risk the safety of our veterans and our citizens. The Jacksonville Fair has confirmed they will be closed Thursday and will reopen at 3 p.m. on Friday. Please contact the director of the fair for additional information. At this time, we are not closing city offices and departments, opening shelters, nor are there mandates for any private businesses, and Duval County Public Schools is not closing schools. This is based on current information from the National Weather Service. Please keep watching your local news for future briefings like this one in case things change as the storm approaches. Before I turn over the podium, I encourage all citizens to stay informed and monitor updates from the National Weather Service about this storm. Make one last check of your supply kit, review your emergency plans with your family. And once again, out of an abundance of caution, we are canceling Veterans Day breakfast and parade scheduled for Friday. With that, I invite my colleague, Sheriff Pat Ivey. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as the Mayor stated, uh, we have a plan that's pretty much plug and play. Um, we uh, have no indication. We always get the bridge question um, in reference to sustained winds. There, at, at current time, obviously, there will be no decision on any bridge closures um, or shelters. Once uh, or if that is uh, comes to uh, uh, where we have to do that, um, officers will be assigned at each shelter location for safety and security of the individuals that will be staying there. Um, but for the most part, if, if everyone would just heed the mayor's advice, uh, check your property, um, clean up any debris that needs to be taken care of because it uh, airborne um, uh, harm, if you will. Um, and uh, everybody, please try to uh, limit their time on the roadway if they can. That would help. Um, and other than that, uh, pretty much we are here. Um, six, there's no change to our uh, non-emergency number or 911. Utilize it if, if necessary. Thank you. With that, we'll take questions. So if you're asked um, about trash pickup this week in Jacksonville, um, is the schedule changing or is it the same? At this time, no change. But I would, again, I would encourage people to stay tuned uh, as this evolves. Just a quick question about um, Jacksonville Beach and the events there, if you have any knowledge of that. I know there's a big surf contest happening on Saturday. Do you know about the plans for that yet? I, I haven't heard any change in plans. Um, we'll just have to keep an eye on this day to day. I mean, the predictions now is the weather should be out of here by Saturday, but depending on what the damage and effects are, I'm sure they'll be making a wise decision. Uh, you mentioned to clean up your property and make sure there's no yard debris out. Uh, we have some residents who say they still have yard waste left from Hurricane Ian. Do you know why that hasn't been collected and what you plan to do about it before the storm? I believe all the debris has been collected, but if someone has if someone has debris that needs to be picked up, they should call 630 City. Steve, do you want to? Yes, sir. Steve Long, Public Works. Uh, if there are specific locations that have not had collection since the storm, uh, they should call 630 City and report that specific location. However, after the storm, we did do a full sweep of the entire city. Uh, so if there's a, a individual case, if they would call 630 City, that's the way it would get handled. And we'll try to get to it before the storm so that that way they have theirs out of the way. I think that 630 City is an important point, too. If it's a non-emergency situation, dealing with the city, call 630 City. If someone's in an emergency situation, call 911. Do not call 630 City if you're having an emergency. And I know that um, you mentioned that Duval schools will still be open. Um, what, what do you have to say to parents who may still be concerned about sending their kids to school, considering that several businesses may be closing? At this point in time, with the information we have and in collaboration with Duval County Public Schools, uh, schools will not be closed on Thursday. Um, and, you know, uh, if that changes, we'll be sure and communicate that with the public. But these decisions are made and a collaborative effort with a lot of people that have been through this, uh, and we always uh, exercise caution. Any more questions? Thank you.